16 pounds of food for just 2,000 calories. You're a wizard, Harry. A wizard. What is up guys, welcome back to a new video, and you read the title, are you ready to lose fat while eating out of bowls the size of your head, and I'm talking big ass bowls here, well if you are then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because this video is for you, but first let me just plug that I am actually having a one week flash sale on my coaching services, a few spots have sort of opened up and you know I don't have a sale very often, so yeah it's going to be the lowest price as always, so if you want to sign up to the team, link will be down below, but for now we are going to go straight into this video. And we are at Tesco's Honey Park and I should probably really get rid of this because I'm going to get looked at very strangely but anyway we're here to pick up your first meal and that is going to be breakfast. Okay as per usual there is a queue but quite a short one so let's time this. And guys if this is not dedication to the video then I don't know what is but yes I'm getting looked at very very strangely so here we go I'm going to guess five minutes so how close will we get? Two very boring minutes later. And there we go, we are in three minutes, quite a quick one. And no, I will not be wearing the bowl on my head for this whole shot, but for now we do have to pick up all the ingredients, so this is what you're gonna need. Some sort of melon, so you have a watermelon, a cantaloupe, or a yellow melon. So we're gonna go for a yellow melon. Then we are gonna need a decent amount of eggs, a packet of tomatoes, any packet of onions, so we have red, we have sweet, and then we have mild, you know I like the red ones. A tin of baked beans, so they have the normal one or the reduced sugar one. Of course we're going for the reduced sugar, lowering calories, and then the Tesco's brand, 38 cent, because we're keeping it budget friendly too. And I am starting to regret coming to this Tesco's. It's quite a poor one. There are two more ingredients we need, both of which they don't have of course things can't run smoothly so you know what that means it means we come to the motherland numero uno the big one of course because we're not taking any risks here two ingredients that's all i need please do me proud yes people i knew i could rely on little so our first ingredient is brogies and oh yes i had no doubt they do also have second ingredient, some sliced mushrooms. I swear, this place is amazing. I haven't actually been to this big one for a while, but anyway, with a bit of struggle, we do have all the ingredients now for your breakfast. So without further ado, cue the sexy B-roll and the voiceover in three, two, one. Okie dokie, here we go. One take hit is back in town. As always, the link will be down below for the full meal plan and the ingrediente. And yes, this is one take. Okay, so what you're gonna do, to be honest, this is very, very simple. I might actually integrate something else into this, like, voiceover. But anyway, so yes, you're just going to scramble up all of the eggs in a nice little bowl or whatever you call that thing with the vegetables. <laughs> then you're going to spray a non-stick cooking spray. Uh, a non-stick cooking spray? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> spray non-sticking. Oh my god, I'm butchering this. Spray non-stick cooking spray into a pan and pour it all and then put the top on to allow it to omletify. <laughs> oh Christ. Okay, then you want to just open your can of beans. If you don't know how to do so, then I highly question you as a human. Pour it into a bowl, put it into a microwave to heat those up. Then you're going to get your big juicy melons. I love my melons. I don't know about you, but actually, comment down below. Do you prefer honeydew or cantaloupe? Or I know there's gallia as well. Then you're gonna cut that up and then you serve pretty much everything with the brogies and that is your breakfast your high volume breakfast to start the day goodbye see you later and there you go family i told you i'm not messing around we have two bowls and two plates to start your day a juicy omelette all of these brogies and then you have your beans and then the cantaloupe and then for your beverage you're gonna have some coffee to suppress your appetite so that's even more like fluid volume but yes yeah, so overall in terms of the macros 572 calories 43 grams of protein 82 grams of carbs and only 8 grams of fat so a lot of food for just like 570 calories so that is going to be your breakfast or even this could be like your pre-workout meal and speaking of pre-workout meals we did of course work out this morning so let's flash back to that well there we go under 147. I could do a bit more. I'm not that tired, but I'm gonna cap it there. I was this one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 rounds of 200. We did well on the 4K. And then we kept it under 147. So 
bit more energy for weights now. And there we go, I can confirm that there's nothing worse than high rep goblet squats after 30 rounds of ski erg. But we still showed up, we took the boxes, and that is that finished for the day. And we are back to eating out of bowls the size of our head because it is lunchtime and although I do have most ingredients, we are back at Tesco's because there is one special ingredient we need to add all kinds of volume. So like I said, through here and little I do have most things, but the first thing you are going to need just for context is spinach, some celery because we can, I mean realistically it's only like 10 calories per 100 grams, a big ass cucumber, some more tomatoes, these are probably my favorite vegetable to be honest, some sweet peppers and I finally found one without the actual green one in there, so these are key. Some cauliflower so you can go fresh or frozen. Then for protein, you're gonna need some chicken. And look at this, 125 reduced aisle for the win. And actually, while I'm here, they also have lean beef. I do need this for dinner. So down from six euro to 150. So we're gonna pick that up. Oh my God, guys, to say I'm getting pissed off here is an understatement because the last ingredient that I need, of course, they don't have and little don't have it either. So you know what that means? It means we come to the big Tesco's, probably where I should have come in the first place. And oh my God, we have a queue going all the way back just for one ingredient. So hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. But yes, as you can see, this is quite a hefty one. So as per usual, we're gonna time it. How long is it gonna be? I'm gonna go super precise. So I'm gonna say 11 minutes and 37 seconds. So let's see how we go. One minute, 37 seconds later. And just like that, we are walking in at six minutes on the dot. I have been severely off with my guesstimation skills today, but nonetheless, here we go. I hope they have this ingredient. If not, I will literally go insane. <laughs> and thank God for that they do. So the bare naked range, we had the rice in the last one. These are like protein noodles. I don't really know what the difference is, but these are lower in calories. We're gonna go for the noodle one, 15 calories per serving. So once again, a few complications, but we finally have all of the ingredienti for another meal, the size of your head. So without further ado, cue the sexy B-roll and the voiceover in three, two, one. What is up people, we are back, and yes, I butchered the last one, but seriously, this is quite difficult to do a voiceover, I want you to try do it yourself just for the crack, it's very difficult, and also I know I breathe very, very deeply, I, it's been happening for ages, like that, when I just take big breaths, a lot of you comment on it, I don't know why, maybe I'm just so unfit and I need to do some more cardio, <laughs> uh there you go you see i did it again but anyway okay so this is what you're gonna do it's super super easy all the link all the link butchered it again the link will be down below for all the instructions <laughs> so yes you're gonna cook up the chicken with the chopped tomatoes in a pan after you've pretty much just chopped up all of your vegetables in a big wok then you're gonna combine the two and that's pretty much it you add your skinny noodles they were um uh in water or whatever so you have to drain them first but yeah you add that to the wok and then you pretty much just let it sort of simmer and then you top it with some cancer juice <laughs> aka coke zero oh my god i'm gonna get called out for that but anyway that is that see you later i told you people i am not messing around and we even had to get out a new bowl because the other one we have isn't big enough this is a full-on washing up bowl and you're probably looking at this saying scott surely i can't eat that and lose fat i mean it's probably too high calorie oh boy okay you were talking 449 calories only 51 grams of protein 41 grams of carbs and just nine grams of fat for this whole damn thing the size of your head it would literally take you like 45 minutes then for some more volume of course you have a diet soda for the carbonation and then also to get that sweet little craving fix but yes that is going to be your lunch and now let's move on to your next meal of the day and we are back in the hermit room and you're probably asking, look, why is volume eating so effective for fat loss? Okay, well, when it comes to actual hunger, okay, apart from just eating calories and feeling satiated, when your stomach is stretched out or in scientific terms, gastric distension, the mechanoreceptors in the stomach actually relay this sort of signal to the brain through this vagus nerve. And actually that will then sort of say that you're full, okay, regardless of how much you've eaten. And there is also a study out there by Lantner et al. 2008, who actually showed in their graph, you can see that a preload meal that is high in volume actually helped to decrease hunger and related appetite ratings. So yes, that is why volume is key on a fat loss phase. Okay, so now let's get to your next meal and it's going to be a little bit of a snack. Okay, so you know what? <sighs> it means we come back to Tesco's and we... What the hell is that? Poor Scott. What the hell? <clears throat> God, I didn't know Tesco's did Scott care packages for your next meal. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is what we have for your next meal. We've got a nice little care package here. So we have 
some frozen strawberries. We have some sugar-free jello. We have some Skyer yogurt. And then finally, we have some unsweetened Alpro almond milk. But I thought there was something else. Yeah, I swear there was something else. So strawberries, jelly, Skyer almond milk, and what's here? Oh, ah, yes, whey protein. So let's see if this works. Ah, perfect, bulk powders, whey protein. Link will be down below as per usual. And you know what? We don't actually need any sexy B-roll for this recipe because if you've been keeping up to date with my videos, in particular the full day of intermittent fasting and also my fast food recipe videos, you will know exactly how to make up this recipe. So without further ado, let's skip straight to the final product. Bish bash bosh, a big ass bowl of protein ice cream or froyo. And of course, this whole tub the size of your head full of sugar-free jello, perfetto. That is right, once again, we are back with two bowls and you're probably like, Scott, surely not again. That can't be a fat loss meal. That has to be a lot of calories. No, okay, you're talking only 275 calories, 24 grams of carbs and only three grams of fat for these two bowls, okay? I told you, I ain't playing and that's just a snack. So speaking of snacks or meals in general, let's move on to your final. Actually, no, it's not even your final meal because we're still eating good in this meal plan. Your next meal, and that is gonna be your dinner. And we are at little because once again, we're not taking any chances. And unfortunately, we're not eating out of bowls the size of our head. I know, very sad, but we are still eating out of casserole dishes the size of our head for this meal. <laughs> so the first ingredient, you're gonna need some courgettes, another packet of peppers, same for the tomatoes, so another pack of those, some more red onions, and oh my God, while we're here, let's appreciate the anabolicness of these sweet potatoes. They're absolutely huge, but yes, red onions, big ass bag of carrots. Now this is gonna be our mash to go on top. Some reduced fat cheddar cheese. Of course, we're gonna need some beef, but you saw we got the absolute bargain in Tesco. So normally 329, we got it for what, 150? And then the final ingredient, of course, is a big bag of green beans. And just like that, those are all the ingredients you're gonna need for this high volume anabolic shepherd's pie of peace. So without further ado, you know the deal. Let's cue the sexy B-roll and the voiceover in tre, due, uno. And here we go. We are back as per usual. And wait till you see the result that this turns out to be. Oh my God. Greg Doucette, if you're watching this, which I highly doubt you are, you call yourself the low calorie density foods or whatever king. Well, I am the volume king. Okay, so... Guys, try this out. Look at that amount of food. So you pretty much chop up all of your veggies. And then what you're going to do is um, mash your karotis. Okay, that is going to be the topping to your shepherd's pie to keep it sort of lower carb. Then you're going to fry up the beef in some tomatoes like so. And what you're going to do is just combine the whole mix together like you did with the first meal. Okay, in a big wok or whatever. Again, woks are absolute game changers. Anyway, then you're going to preheat the oven, and once it's all combined, you get casserole dishes the size of your head, of course, and then you're going to pop the mix or the base um, of the pie, shepherd's pie. Again, I don't know why it's called shepherd's pie. Maybe shepherds ate it when they were like, <laughs> I know nothing about shepherds, so I can't finish that sentence. Okay, so yes, then you're going to put all those into casserole dishes, and you're just going to top each layer with carrot mash <laughs> and of course some cheese because bulking <laughs> oh god are we bulking in this video technically not but i don't know we could be actually if you're bulking do you still employ high volume techniques to keep you full or do you literally just live on mass gainer shakes let me know but anyway i've butchered this voiceover once again so yeah that is the meal enjoy goodbye he's only gone and done it Two casserole dishes the size of your head. Two anabolic shepherd's pies of peace. Oh my God, seriously, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I am hooking you up here. And then for more fluid volume, we have some sugar-free squash. And you're again, probably saying, no way is that gonna be low in calorie. Oh, of course it is, okay? You're talking only 653 calories, 53 grams of protein, 63 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of fat for two casserole dishes and you still have another meal. So yes, oh my God, please, if you do try this recipe out, I want you to tag me in your Instagram stories, but that is gonna be your dinner. And like I said, you have one more meal. So let's get to that. And we are out banging out the steps and no, not at little, but actually at Super Value because keeping with the theme of this video, I wanna show you the three ingredients or there's actually four, but the three main ingredients that we need for your final meal. So the first thing is gonna be a big bag of ice. 
the absolute game changer ingredient, which is the xanthan gum. And I want you to imagine that this is protein powder, okay? Obviously not this stuff. Go click the first link down below for bulk powders, protein powder. But those are your three ingredients, protein powder, xanthan gum, and ice. And if you've stayed up to date with all the videos, you will know exactly what this final meal is. And that is why we don't even need any sexy B-roll. So you know the deal. Oh, no, you don't, because the first component of this meal is going to be a whole tub of blueberries because we can for more volume, but this is just an add-on to the meal, and the real shit happens with the piece de resistance, which can only mean one thing. We have the infamous protein fluff bowl. Oh my god, look at the fluffiness. Perfect. And this is why I recorded my last video, because I wanted the recipe to be included in this video. So if you haven't already seen how to make this, go back to that video, but look at this. It is literally the size of your head. And overall, the macros, you're not gonna believe it. 167 calories, only 21 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, and just three grams of fat. And that is gonna see you off for the day. That is your whole meal plan, finally finito. And you know what? Firstly, it is 100% certain I am gonna be living the leftover life tomorrow, but yes, adding up all of this food, you're not gonna believe it. The food alone is 13 pounds of food, okay? And then when you add in the liquid on top of that, you're talking 16 pounds of food for just 2,000 calories. Seriously, all of this for 2,000 calories. If that's not worth a like and a subscribe, I don't know what is. So I think I did quite well for you guys. I tried my best and I told you I wasn't playing around. So yes, I did touch on the calories there. So overall, the macros for this whole meal plan, you're talking 206 grams of protein, 225 grams of carbs, 44 grams of fats, so 2,120 calories. And I can assure you, you probably won't even be able to eat half of this without like lying in bed like, oh my days, food baby city so yes try the recipes out let me know if you like them tag me in your instagram stories and then of course don't forget about the sale that is going to be running for the next week so yes if you like the video give it a like subscribe to the channel hope you all have a good day see you all in the next video Boop.